Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite jailbreak tweaks for iOS 6. These work on iPhone 5, iPod Touch 5, and iPad Mini, as well as iPad 4, and other devices. Um, as you can see, I have some cool tweaks here installed, and I'll be showing you all of them right now. So basically the first one is called Barrel. It allows you to move your icons back and forth like this. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, there are different effects you can use, such as... Uh, let's say page squeeze so as you can see um, there's just a bunch of different uh, cool things that you can make your home screen do and all of them make it look way cooler than the original um, like way of scrolling and it's, it's really cool it's a great tweak from Cydia it just customizes your device so I like that a lot the next tweak I have is actually for app switching um, it's called Zephyr, and it adds all of the iPad gestures to your device. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a bunch of apps here. Clock. Stocks. And basically all you do to get rid of an app is swipe up from the bottom. So this closes the app, and it still is available on multitasking, but that's, that's the equivalent of hitting the home button. Then I have, if you scroll left and right from the side of the app, you can switch between apps which is very cool, very easy, much quicker than before, um, and I like it a lot. And if you swipe up from the bottom, you can get to the multitasking bar. So these um, new gestures make it way easier to use your device, which leads me to another tweak. As you guys can see here, my multitasking bar looks different. Um, that's because I have a tweak called OXO. Um, very cool. So basically all you need to do is download OXO and you can get this interface. So it's how Apple should implement multitasking. You can swipe down and get rid of apps and close them. You can do it two at, two at once. Uh, sorry here. You can do two at once, which is very cool. Um, you can hold it and delete all of them. If an app is running, you can do this, and it will ask if, you, if you're sure you want to close it if it's running, so it's awesome. Um, which is very good. Um, you scroll to the left here, you have much better music controls. You can see the the album art by clicking the little music button there. And you scroll all the way to the left here, you have all of your toggles um, for vibrate, um, flashlight, etc., and your brightness and airplay. So I think this is how Apple should implement multitasking. Hopefully they change it to this, but that's a great tweak that I love. Another tweak that you guys might be looking at is my icons are smaller. This is done using an app called Springtimize. Basically, this app allows you to change everything. Um, you can change the notification center, status bar, custom carrier, uh, folders, lock screen. It lets you customize every aspect of your device. Um, and so I've made, all I've done with this is made my icons smaller. It makes me feel like I have an iPad mini here on my iPhone 5, but it works really well. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will like that, and so that's great spring to my eyes. Awesome. Uh, next is what you're looking at right now. How am I recording my screen? Uh, it's done through an app called Display Recorder. As you can see, it says it's recording right now. Um, but basically, just download it called Display Recorder, and you can record your screen, make screencasts on your iPhone, iPad, or iOS device, um, iPod Touch, so it's awesome. I love it. Um, and then I have another one called Disc Recorder, which is actually from the App Store. And so that worked really well too, um, but I like this one recorder better, um, just because it works better. And it's jailbreak app. You, you get the gesture button here, um, which is a little dot scroll that scrolls as I move. Um, next activator, basically just you can control how things are opened. Um, so for example, at the, you can change like what opens an app or closes an app, swiping up from the bottom like Zephyr, etc. So that's just helpful. And lastly, I can't really show you this because I don't want to give away personal information here, guys, but Messages Plus is actually an app that lets you have quick reply for uh, messaging and for um, for messaging and for texting both on the lock screen and in the device. You can reply to a message on the lock screen. You can send a message from anywhere inside of another app, a text. Um, you can... Just you can re quick reply from the notification center. It makes it a lot better to text, and it's similar to Byte SMS, which is awesome. Um, but this one I like better because it's more how Apple would implement it and looks more like it. So I'll link um, some pictures to that in the video for you. But thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more jailbreak content. If you're looking to jailbreak, check out my channel. There's guides on there that you can search for. And be sure to download all these tweaks. And hopefully you liked it. Be sure to subscribe, rate thumbs up, and favorite as well as 
like um, follow me on Twitter, bookmark my website, like me on Facebook, follow me on Google Plus, and subscribe to my vlog channel all in the description. Again, I greatly appreciate it, guys. Hopefully you like this video. Check out my channel for more jailbreak content, and stay tuned for more jailbreak content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.